second chance effort, and there's the nice layup by Gordon. Gortat's got nine. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. Boy, that was a nice job. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. The Cavaliers have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. And so he hits the technical free throw. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Detroit. Harry Sanders is checked in for Cleveland. Robert Covington comes in for LeBron. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Randolph goes in. Love wide open. He fires. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. He a bit over eager right there. Left his feet too early. Yeah, and if you're already boxed out like he was, just back up. Because if you don't, you're going to get called for the over the back foul every time. And Cleveland making a change here. Patchouli has checked in. On defense, Cleveland. They've led by as many as 11 points. Beverly, and that one's good. Beverly's got his second bucket tonight. That's three of four here to start the half. Brooks kicks to Randall. Covington in the corner and taken away by Johnson. Beverly dishes to Jackson. Back to Beverly. Outside Jackson. Here's Bargnani, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. Larry Sanders picks one up. Pistons have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. Wingate is checked in for Andre Drummond. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plagues some of the NBA's other big men. Wingate against Sanders. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with the rundown of this postseason's assist leaders. And you look at Jackson, top five in the NBA, and his teammates love him. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. Now the pass to Johnson. Rejected by Randolph. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Sanders passes to Randolph. On the wing, Brooks defended by Bargnani. Brooks kicks to Sanders. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. The Pistons making a change here. Meeks is checked in. 114 left here in the third quarter. Beverly against Randolph. Morris with the screen for Beverly. The feed to Morris. It's Meeks outside. Here's Drummond. It's tipped. And now the Cavaliers. Pass break. Here's Randolph. And it's sent back by Morris. I like the move to go two for one here. So do I, Greg. I mean, I agree with you. They need to get a quick look and then try to get another possession after that. And here's Love for three. Good. And the assist goes to James. For three. LeBron's got assist number seven for him tonight. That's leadership. Really, really valuable to have someone who can just take charge like he has. Well, there's a certain amount of confidence you have when the ball is in his hands at that end of the floor right now. I mean, he just gives you a sense of calm and confidence because of how good he is. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. 
And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end of the floor. The Pistons have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Kevin, you look at their free throw percentage. They've been very efficient from the line today. That's a big factor. And so he's able to get one of two. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Greg, simply controlling the glass. I mean, plus 10 is the advantage in rebounds right now. And the final period of play, just about to start. Pistons trail by eight. Jackson and Caldwell poke the guards. Marcus Morris is out there with Andre Drummond, and it's Johnson in at the three spot. That's the five and the four for the Pistons. Here's Caldwell Pope, covered by Smith. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Caldwell Pope. Morris has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Detroit. Jackson against Randall. James left side. It's deflected and stolen by Drummond. It's Jackson with the drive, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. Big time bucket there, and you can expect to see him stay very involved the rest of the way. Kicks it out to Love. Love with the screen for Smith. He feeds it to Randolph. Smith dishes to Love. Five on the clock. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And it's J.R. Smith with the three. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. He's not going to miss many of those, if any. Not when he's got that much room. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Well, Kevin, head coach of the Pistons had some words for his team over the break. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stops, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? Picked by Barnett. Here's Caldwell Pope. Connects from three-point range. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Randolph gets the long. And it's Brooks in the corner. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And that's now six points for Love. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Outside Jackson. Picked by Bargnani. It's Jackson with the drive. No good from Bargnani. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Greg, and that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. There's a screen by Gorton. Brooks the best to Randall. LeBron James on the way. Defended by Drummond. Brooks from outside. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Johnson dishes to Jackson. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Kevin Love. Love's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Outside Randolph. Pass to Love. Randolph kicks to Brooks. Back to Randolph. Up top, Borchardt. The drive by Brooks. Detroit with the rebound. Drummond's got six rebounds here tonight. Pistons trail by six. Out to the right wing. Here's Bargnani. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Talk about a terrific game for Bargnani. He's got 14 points, and he hasn't forgotten to get his teammates involved either. And he's conscious, I think, Clark, of, of good ball movement. It needs to be a part of their game plan throughout. Both shots good from the strike. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Brooks kicks to Randall. 
Back to Brooks. There's the dish to Randolph. Six on the shot clock. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Johnson, wide open. He fires. And off the ground. And in it goes. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Brooks, the best around it. Love outside. Back to Randolph. Feeds it to Love. On the wing, Brooks. From downtown, and there's Love. That's good on the assist by Randolph. Randolph's got his sixth assist on the night. And certainly, they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. And, Greg, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, Take them, and as long as they're falling, continue to take them. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. Jackson kicks to Barnett. LeBron grabs the miss. They can take their time on this possession. You know, guys, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, give themselves a little break, too. Catch their breath. Yeah. Right. Randolph dishes to LeBron. To the paint, deflects the pass. Lock at six. Randolph missing again. Pistons trail by seven. Time definitely not on their side. They need a very quick bucket, a real quick one. Bargnani nails it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. 58 seconds left in the game. Brooks kicks to Randolph. Back to Brooks. Randolph passes to Love. And another three for Cleveland. And if you thought this game was over already, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I mean, it's staring us right in the face, and we've been around long enough to know when a game is over. And this one is in that category. Drummond working against Love. Rejected by Randolph. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. 32 seconds left in the fourth. Love right side. Back to Randolph. And not sure what he was thinking there. And it's Detroit's ball. Trailing here by eight. Passes to Bargnani. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Johnson's shot is off. And that's playing into the hands of the defense right there. No way you can sneak that shot by him, Greg. I mean, he was all on top of that one. The three. No good. That's it. They've won the series. And you can see the elation on their faces. I mean, not just happiness, but pure excitement and joy to be headed to the NBA Finals. A tremendous opportunity now, just four wins away from a championship. Yeah, yeah and, and so close. I mean, they can practically taste it right now, but, but it's not going to be easy. Those next four wins are going to be the most difficult of the season if they can get them. But no matter what... I think the accomplishment of winning the conference championship is something this franchise and its fans will always remember. And they'll represent the East in a final series that's mere days away. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.